the level of fear was now everyone was at risk. Um, it was the most prolific bioterrorist attack that we had ever suffered. Just days after 9-11, the country was once again struck with fear when letters containing anthrax were mailed to lawmakers and several news media companies, including American Media, the publisher of the National Enquirer, housed in this building in Boca Raton. Robert Stevens, who worked there, was the first anthrax attack victim. A husband and a father, you know, was killed needlessly and died a horrible death. Schuler and Weiser represented Stevens' widow during the years-long litigation before reaching a $2.5 million settlement with the U.S. government. In 2008, the FBI formally recognized Bruce Ivins, a senior biodefense researcher with the U.S. Army Medical Research Institute, as the person responsible for the attacks that ultimately killed five people. Ivins died by suicide in 2008 before he was ever charged. In, in the end, uh, this was a terrorist act by a government employee who worked at USAMRID who actually was assisting the FBI in the investigation before they found out that he was the perpetrator. Weiser says one of the scientists they interviewed had serious concerns about the security at the U.S. Army Medical Research Institute of Infectious Diseases. He said the security here is worse than a 7-Eleven. And to us, that was so shocking and, and disappointing. And I think as a result of the case, um, you saw a complete 180 that occurred after that. The attorneys also took their case to the Florida Supreme Court in 2008, which ruled that a laboratory with hazardous materials has a duty to protect the general public from that hazardous material. And because of these protocols, the attorneys say they no longer fear a similar biological attack. Reporting live, Anna Espinosa, WPBF 25 News.